Hey, what's going on guys? How's everyone doing today? I'm doing well, thank you for asking. Well, today we're gonna do a little bit of a chest workout, but we're not gonna do a typical, normal, average, everyday Mikey Sun chest workout. Now, if you know uh, my gym here, you know that I have limited equipment here. Like I don't have a typical bench with the uprights. I don't have like adjustable racks, you know, uh, upright stands. I don't have a cage. I don't have, you know, a Olympic barbell of any size. I don't have any of that to do those type of lifts. What I do have are dumbbells. I have lots of dumbbells, still gotta get a lot more. What I also have is an easy bar, curl bar. Now that's set up from yesterday. Uh, I had leg day yesterday and I'm, I'm doing kind of something different this week and I just realized that I kind of wanted to do a video about it after I did legs yesterday. Um, the only exercise I did for legs yesterday was the easy bar uh, deadlift. That's all I did. And uh, instead of, you know, doing that, plus doing dumbbell deads, plus using my sled, my, my hack press here, um, those are usually what I do all together on leg day. But I just did the easy bar deads and my shin fills it. So today what I'm going to do is I'm sticking with the easy bar for chest day. Mikey, son, how are you going to do that without any sort of uprights or a cage or anything like that? Well, it's not going to be easy. And the fact of the matter is I can't do any real significant weight um, by doing this because, you know, I got to get the weight from the floor up to my bench, up to my chest, lay back. I don't know what I'm doing with the camera. <laughs> uh, lay back with the weight, press the weight, and then throw the weight up, get the weight back down on the floor, and so on. So I can't really go heavy, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna push the chest in a way that I've not really pushed the chest. Uh, I typically like to stick with doing some uh, progression up to my 100 pound dumbbells and then doing the dumbbell, uh, doing the 100, pound dumbbells for as many sets as I can possibly do, you know, not, not overdoing, but you know, I like to get about three, four sets with the 100 pound dumbbells. And then I might work my way back down a smidgen and in, in, uh, to the lower weight. So anyway, today we're going to do the easy bar press. Uh, I'm going to do flat and incline, and we're going to try and do this and uh, not kill ourselves. And when you do this, definitely be careful because it's tricky, especially when you got a bad back, like myself, chronic bad back for 25 years now, shoulders that are bum, uh, arm that's screwed up, I don't know, all kind of stuff. You got to be careful, guys. We're going to be careful. So let me get this set up. I got a lot of weights to take off of there and get the bench set up and all that good stuff, so... We'll be right back, all right? All right, guys, I'm all wrapped up and ready to go. Got my gloves on and got my hands wrapped up. Uh, it just helps with my arthritis and uh, to keep things nice and tight. So basically right now I'm gonna start out with 70 pounds, not including the bar. And uh, I'll let you kind of get an idea of how I get it up to me and then lay back, okay? So let's get it started. It's getting late. Yeah. 
All right, so as you've seen uh, how I went back with it, now it does kind of aggravate my shoulder a little bit where I hurt, but sometimes you just gotta do what you gotta do. Um, of course, like I said, that's 70 pounds uh, without the bar. Now I'm only gonna go up a little bit higher, but I'm gonna really blast the chest with um, a lot of reps. And even though it's not taxing my muscles the same as the 100 pound dumbbells or probably even the 80 pound dumbbells, it's at least putting a little different feel, a different movement into my uh, mechanics, my arms, my chest, all the muscles and fibers and everything that are firing. It's given me a different workout than if I'm just sticking with the dumbbells as usual, even if I can't go quite as heavy. So we're still gonna get a good chest workout. There's a 100% chance that my chest will have some soreness to it tomorrow. I'm pretty certain. So let's go ahead and add a couple of more weights to that, all right? Alright guys, so there's a warm-up set and then what I consider a working set. Um, now this is not going to be for everyone. It is a little dangerous to do, uh, but if you know your limits and you stick to it and you pay attention to what you're doing, you're probably going to be okay. It's no worse than doing a deadlift or a squat or anything else that might put your body into kind of a uh, precarious uh, uh, position or, or motion or whatever. So uh, right now I'm gonna go ahead and I don't know what I'm gonna add to it. Uh, this is kind of new to me, uh, honestly. Uh, I don't have any tens. I don't have any two and a halfs or anything like that. Uh, so I'm going to try and figure out uh, what else to add to it. So we'll get on that in just a moment. Okay, this is 140, uh, not including the bar. I'm going to give it a shot and go from there. Again, as you can see, that's kind of a, uh, that's kind of a, ooh, kind of a dangerous way of doing this movement. But uh, again, sometimes you don't have any other option. 
if you want to do a certain movement. Now, I'm at 140 plus the bar. I'm going to say the bar probably weighs 15 pounds. Uh, maybe 20. It's 15 or 20 pounds, I'm sure, somewhere in there. So, you know, that's a lot of weight to pop up from the floor and get on you and then lay back and then try to get set back up. So, I'm going to stick to 140. I'm going to try and push out maybe two or three more sets of it. And uh, then I'll work my way back down to just a little lighter weight and a little uh, heavier on the reps. Okay? Well, let's get on uh, to the next set, guys. All right, this is gonna be my last set of 140 and then plus the bar, however you wanna add that up. And then I'm gonna go back down. So let's get this one last set done. We're going to do one more set of 90 and uh, I'm either going to call it done or I'm going to go down to 70. We'll see.
<clears throat> All right, guys. I think that's going to conclude this chest workout. Now, at the end of the day, I do feel like I maybe missed out a little bit. Uh, I was going to do incline presses as well, but I feel like I might be pressing my luck if I do that. Uh, I could do some dumbbell inclines and I could do some dumbbell flies. But like I said, I wanted to do something different this week and try to just use my easy bar uh, for pretty much all my exercises if I can. So uh, it's just kind of a way to show you that there are ways of working out with even more limited weights and options than what I already have. You know, I got a pretty decent setup for uh, just, you know, the average Joe. Dodgeball reference. You know, not everybody has the equipment that I have. And then a lot of people have uh, enough equipment in their house they could open their own gym. So uh, this is just to kind of do a, a different workout this week than what I normally do to kind of shock my muscles, maybe give them a break from all the dumbbell work and uh, and uh, even on the hack press and the cable machine and just kind of stick with the easy bar. Now this, what you see me do in this video is not for the faint of heart. <laughs> and uh, it's not smart to do unless you feel really comfortable doing it. And I, I felt, you know, I feel comfortable even though I have issues like my beard gets in the way and the bar lands on it. And anyway, that's another issue with my shoulders and my back and everything. It is uh, a really uh, iffy, chancy uh, way of doing chest, but I felt comfortable enough that I went ahead and did it. You listen to your own self, your own brain, your own heart, your own body, and you go from there. This is just my uh, little, kind of my little different method of doing this right now. Eventually I'm gonna get a, a bench with uprights or I'm gonna get the adjustable you know, racks or maybe a half rack or a full cage or something. I'm gonna eventually get something. And it's not that I'm wanting to go heavy, but I'm wanting to be able to have more options. And having that gives me the option of a barbell, you know, and then I can get a real barbell and uh, do some other stuff. So uh, my workouts are not about going heavy. I do feel comfortable saying that I could most likely bench press Still, at this point in time in my life, I could probably bench press 225. I'm just throwing that out there. I mean, I do the, the 100 pound dumbbells, you know, three, four, five sets sometimes. And, uh, and handling that easy bar there, coming back with it and having to bench and, and all that. I think I could safely say I could probably still do 225 on a bench, which is pretty good for someone who technically hasn't benched in five or six years. So, and you know, I'm no spring chicken. I'm fixing to be 50 uh, next month. So anyway, guys, I know it's a long drawn out video and I'm uh, sorry for that, but I feel like I need to kind of convey a few things, you know, why I'm doing it and what, what the uh, risks might be. So anyway, I hope you got something out of this. I hope you learned something. I hope you try something new yourself. Uh, do this with caution if you do it. And uh, hey, let me know in the comments what you think. If you've done it, how you feel about it, what you get out of it, if you mix up stuff, you know, let me know what you, what you got going on. And while you're at it, go ahead and like, share, subscribe, and comment to Mikey Sun TV. Check out the playlist. I have all kind of stuff in there from movie discussions to some art and photography to just vlogs and personal type stuff to cycling to uh, weightlifting and playing darts even uh, book readings to children I, I got all kind of stuff in there check out the playlist guys ask you to please push out my channel I'm a good wholesome -ish 
decentish, familyish channel. And uh, we need more people like myself out there. And I hope to inspire people every day with something to do something. Don't forget, guys. Get up, get out, get rad, and do it to it. We'll see you next time on My Kiss and TV. Get up, get out, get rad, and do it, do it!